<laughs> the first couple of storms went west into Mexico, and uh, it's just gone on that way. But we don't really want this one. Irene is expected to be a Category 3 as it makes landfall. Let me show you something that uh, you can use for free on our website. If you click on the Weather tab, and then there's a severe weather area, and then tropical storm, you'll get this. Not too hard weather, and then severe storms, tropical storm. But uh, on the top right of this, there's a little area, a little box here that shows arrows pointing all four directions. If you click on it, you actually get this nice full screen, high definition map that you can track these storms with. And uh, you can look at all the data here, the forecasted path and what time it's expected to hit. In fact, this one shows Saturday, about 7 o'clock in the morning, making its way into uh, South Carolina. And that's what the Hurricane Center is talking about. So if you have a nice big screen on your TV or, or your home computer or a nice laptop screen, you can take a look at that. Uh, great way to watch those systems. This is what we have from the stats. Now, it starts off right now with, a, with winds at 80 miles per hour and gust to 98. Pressure 29.18, moving west-northwest at 11 miles per hour. The path on it, according to the Hurricane Center and every forecast model that's out there, shows it continuing in through the areas uh, east of Florida. But look at that as a Category 3 storm as it makes its way inland. Or not inland, but in towards uh, Florida and then beyond. Take a look at where it heads up. Still is a Category 3 moving its way up towards South Carolina. The wind damage is going to be obviously significant. They're going to have high surf and likely to have torrential flooding out of this if this continues on as a Category 3. And that takes a lot of moisture into the southeastern portions of the United States. Any storms, any troughs that exist here Saturday morning likely to pull that moisture even further inland. So it could be a big deal there uh, as we get further into this weekend. None for us. 94 degrees. Winds are calm. Temperatures around the area. We now see the temperatures jumping. 97 in Lano, 95 in LaGrange. I mentioned these two because they do that. Temperatures even hotter. In fact, we're at 100 degrees out in Shreveport, 97 in Waco. Skies are clear and you're not seeing anything develop other than a few coastal showers. That's not going to help us out at all. In fact, it hurts really to see the rain there. It's only 100 plus miles away, but it never makes it here. So our forecast shapes up like this. 104 for the high today. Winds out of the south continuing. You see temperatures tonight in the low, lows into the upper 70s. Sometimes we see a couple of low 70s out there, but you get a really hot afternoon. It's hard to cool off overnight, so we're going to see that. 104 today, 103 tomorrow, 103 on Wednesday. We will tie the all-time record tomorrow of 100-degree days in a year. We'll break it on Wednesday, and then we'll shatter it as we get into the weekend with hot, dry weather through Sunday.